Okay, today I want to talk to you about old frames. And why is that important? Well, if you have a painting and it has the original frame, that can add to the value of the piece. Plus, generally they're more, I think, beautiful to have the original, or even if you don't have the original frame, a period frame from that time frame. So you have something like this Alfred Jacob Miller. It's an early painting, very early. But if you look at the piece itself, you go, it looks like an old painting. It does to me, and it looks like an old frame. You have a hand-carved, hand-geld frame, but you have to look on the back, okay? So you look at the back, and you see these old tags. You have a Kennedy Gallery. You can see that it's an old board, but the frame itself is not old. You can see that this has got recent uh, additions where it's been put together, and the wood has not aged. It's very important to look and see okay, that's a new frame, expensive frame, but it's not old. It's not a period frame. It is a piece that is meant to look like an old frame. Then you have something like this, again, probably about the same time frame, but the difference is, if you look on the back, again, you'll be able to see on this some old stamps, like the Pook and Pook stamp, but look, you see how that's really aged. You can see the wood has turned to this kind of dark, mellow color. So when you see this type of wood, now, this is new. Sometimes you'd see old wire, and I'll show you an example of what an old wire would look on a frame, but this is an original old frame. It probably is original for this piece, but at least it's a period frame. It's important to look at the back, see if you can see some old holes where maybe they had a screw where they had the wire went. Old holes will also tell you, but if it hasn't aged, it haven't, if the wood hasn't oxidized, it's probably not old, and it may be a reproduction frame. By Medicine Man Gallery. Located for over 26 years in Tucson, Arizona. Specializing in antique Native American art, early Western art, including the famed Maynard Dixon, as well as modern art. You can find everything online at medicinemangallery.com. There's over 6,000 objects to select from. Also, the Charles Bloom Murder Mystery Series, written by yours truly, me, Mark Sublett. There's six books in this series, and they follow the protagonist Charles Bloom through all the intrigue of the art world set in Santa Fe and the Navajo Nation. These can be found on Audible, eBooks, Amazon, and of course, the gallery at medicinemangallery.com.